Like its predecessor, Dead Rising 2 K-Zero doesn't miss a beat when it comes to encouraging you to eradicate the living dead in humorous and offbeat ways. Chuck Green, the series' new protagonist, steps up to the plate with a swing worthy of the MLB. Is this short bit of DLC worth the price of admission? K-Zero's zombie outbreak takes place in a sleepy town 46 miles outside of Las Vegas. After a botched refueling attempt, Chuck Green is on the warpath to find a cure for his infected young daughter, as well as a new means of transportation. The voice acting and story play second fiddle to the carnage, which shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who's experienced the original Dead Rising. K-Zero does provide some wiggle room when it comes to the main objectives, recovering five hidden motorcycle parts, rescuing survivors, and killing zombies, which you can tackle in any order you desire. Any difficulties you'll encounter are mostly due to the necessity to race against the clock. Once the clock hits eight, it's game over, whether or not you've ticked off all the items on your grocery list. The good news is that your stats persist between games, and there are multiple save slots, which means that you don't necessarily have to restart the story after every failure. <laughs> The best thing about K-Zero is its generous helping of weapons, which allow for inventive ways to literally mow down the competition. Handyman Chuck Green brings his expertise to the party, creating combo weapons to help to turn the tides against the undead onslaught. There's something to be said about bringing a spiked propane tank to bear against the hordes, or rampaging through a mass of zombies with a moose head. K-Zero makes a lasting impression when it comes to slaughtering the undead. However, given its short two-hour duration and the impressive race against the clock structure, it's hard to recommend without qualification. If you simply can't wait for Dead Rising 2 to launch in a few weeks, then K-Zero is worth the five bucks. Otherwise, stay in quarantine.